It's awesome! When an entire nation can agree on something, right? Right? So there's this clip that went viral on August 4th featuring the creepiest guy in Japan and the 20-year-old softball pitcher, Miyu Goto. So the creep is the 72-year-old mayor of Nagoya, Takashi Kimura, and the incident took place when Miyu, who is also from Nagoya, decided to visit the mayor for a press conference after winning the gold in the Olympics. So you can imagine that this is a pretty big moment for Miyu. And by the way, Nagoya is also where I'm from, and it's the fourth biggest city in Japan. It is an awesome city, but um, it always gets voted the most boring tourist destination, and we're not gonna get into it in this video, no. So in the press conference, the mayor asked Miyu whether he could wear the medal, and that is a little bit pushy, but somewhat understandable. Then this happened. <laughs> What? What kind of freak is this guy? And just check her eyes. Her eyes do all the talking. The guy, of course, then proceeds to make some cringy joke. <laughs> and her eyes are still not forgiving. And of course she's upset. She spent her entire life training and this is probably the pinnacle of her career. And this stupid, hungry, hungry hippo had to get his slobber all over her medal. Even Ariana Grande got tons of hate when she was licking random donuts and she's supposed to be hot. Who does he think he is? He's no Ariana. Thank you, next. So I don't like those Twitter feminists or anyone who is always angry on Twitter. I wish I could block them all. But I think we can both agree that he wouldn't have done that if it was a male athlete. I also think that a lot of women can relate to Miu in the sense that they probably experienced a situation where they had to tolerate and just smile. So obviously people were upset. The mayor received over 4,000 complaints and I'm against the Olympics, right? So I'm not watching it. But whether you were against the Olympics or excited about the Olympics now that it started, people unanimously were condemning this Takashi, the mad dog. Because that was a proper chomping. <laughs> Judo's Naohisa Takato said, you could actually hear his teeth hitting the medal when even us athletes treat our medal with care. I can't believe how tolerant Miu was. If it were me, I would have cried. So if you ever wanted to make a judo master cry, you now know that all you have to do is to bite down into his most treasured circular object. I think the issue here was that the mayor was showing absolutely no respect to a trophy that someone really, really, really worked hard on. Some people were saying that in this day and age of Kobe, you shouldn't be spreading your germs, but Kobe or not, no one wants your saliva unless you're George Clooney. So Toyota, the sponsor of Miu's team, which also happens to dominate the economy in Nagoya, said that the mayor's behavior was regrettable. And psst, that's Japanese for you. And oh my god, you know Takashi pissed off the wrong force because he was scrambling to Toyota headquarters to apologize but um, he wasn't allowed inside. <laughs> he wrote an apology to Miu saying, I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. It was my biggest expression of affection. <laughs> Biting is his sign of affection? Is he a dog? He was also quoted saying, I don't wanna say this because I may come off wrong, but it was an extremely friendly environment at the press conference. So I'm sorry, but I didn't imagine what the situation was like. Firstly, if you're rocking back and forth when you're apologizing, you are not sincere about your apology. And secondly, that's the kind of excuse that racists make. Anyway, I think this guy's pretty much done in Nagoya. He ruined his entire career by sticking something in his mouth, which is quite an achievement because I don't think there's being anybody else that ruined their career in the same way? Can you guys think of anybody else? 
Okay, so that's it for today. Last week, I was really, really busy with work, so I decided to take two days off where I did nothing but watch The Mentalist and Detective Conan. And this week, I finally got my vaccine. <coughs> Man, I was really, really, really desperate for one, and I was this close. To going to the hospital and going, give me those vaccines, man. Where's my vaccine? Hey, give me vaccine! Ah! <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Don't take it. Don't take it seriously, right? I'm a geek. Even if I think about it, all I do is draw a manga about it. But anyway, I finally got my vaccine this week. But um, I had a headache for an entire day. <laughs> oh man. So I guess that's why I have like this weird mood today. Now I don't have to worry about it for the next few weeks. I hope you guys are also keeping safe and healthy. And until the next time we meet, please, please, please take care. And I will see you guys very soon. Ciao.